she's so nice. She's so cute. I'll give you a brush. You can brush her. She likes oh that. Oh my god. Hello. I've never. I don't think I've ever pet a cow before. You can hug her. Can I hug? Yeah. Her? <laughs> I unfortunately forgot everything that I knew about animals right before we started the stream, so we'll see how it goes today, but I'm gonna do my best. The point of today is for Hassan to meet a bunch of animals and for me to teach Hassan about them and then teach you about them as well. This is a conservation education nonprofit. It's so sick. This place is fucking dope, guys. This was so much fun. I had a phenomenal time. I already thought I was gonna have a good time, but I didn't realize how good of a time I was gonna have. All right, well, without further ado, I think we're, we're Shall good Shall we there. begin? This is for you. I have to put a blindfold on? Okay, so we're gonna start with Hassan meeting his first animal blindfolded because- There's an animal here already. No, no, I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, okay. All right, you ready? How big? You're gonna feel it. Don't freak out. Like, don't move your hands. Okay. Don't, like, fling it in the air. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's the toad. It's gotta be the toad. Can I look? No. What? This thing is dead. <laughs> what, what the fuck is this? It's not it. moving! <laughs> what is this? You can take a blindfold off if you want. Oh god! Wait, can I move my hands? Oh. Go, Son, you killed it! It fell! <laughs> <laughs> you can buy these now if you want. This is a Winnie plushie. We also have a Georgie one and a Stompy one and a Siren one. That's insane. Um, if Why you would you do If you want to buy to one of these, it's a fundraiser for Elvis. You want a plushie? You can get what a plushie. I hope you're happy with yourself. Yeah, I feel good about it. The I, longest time, okay? Put your blindfold on, I'm getting a bug. Oh, oh god. And oh, this time god. I'm actually serious, you cannot like fling your hands in the air. Do you want a venomous bug or a non-venomous bug? What? What? Are you ready? I'm not ready. It's a really big bug. No, oh, god. What is it? It's not moving again. <laughs> is it dead again? It's in your hand. Are you f***ing with me? No. All right, take the blindfold off. Let me see it. Big news, everybody. I made this smile. And they're gonna ah, get fuck raffled you. up. <laughs> um, I made second. this. I made a chicken. I'm making plushies of all our ambassadors, and you can come get them for a fundraiser on February 14th here <laughs> at Alvaeus. Okay, I'm getting serious. Sorry. We're putting gloves on now uh, because the next animal we handle, yeah, a lot of people already know, is Georgie. Do you know who Georgie is? No, I don't know any of that. That's animals. crazy because I told you when you got here like an hour ago, so you weren't listening to me. Oh, it's the chicken. Can I lick it? No, dude, what? <laughs> Look at his butt. <laughs> Why show his butt? That's exploiting him. I will what? not. That's so funny. Can I touch him now? Yeah. You can. <laughs> <laughs> oh! All right, you want to hold him? Yeah, I want to hold you have, him. Actually, you're going to be better holding him than me because okay. your hands over here. All right, Hassan is holding Georgie. Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> he's so big. He's really big. He's this such is the, a big boy. Yeah, this is an African bullfrog. He's pretty much full grown now. Um, and he's an amphibian, which means that he soaks things up. He has semi-permeable skin, so he can soak things up through skin. And because Hassan's hands are really dirty and yucky and gross, he has to wear gloves to keep Georgie safe. Wow. Um, okay. I have a snack for Georgie. A little Georgie snack. It's a super worm. Um, Hassan's gonna feed him. Yes! Um, and by feed him, I just mean put him on the table because he has teeth and it hurts when he bites you. you Go ahead. You have to say the magic words for him to eat. What is it? I guess. Bone appetit? Bone apple tea? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Keep trying. Are you f***ing with me again? No, he just oh. needs encouragement. Oh. So you almost yeah. had it. Get in there, big boy. Get in there. He did oh. it. Oh, congratulations, Georgie. That was so sick. That's what he needed. Uh, you want me to Can do we a get close a Georgie close-up with, with Hassan's Georgie voice? That's right. Voice I'm actor. trying to f***ing go to sleep, yeah. F***ing hell, these humans. <laughs> They're bullying me, feeding me the worm, and making me f***ing wake up. <laughs> He's amazing. Guys, frogs are important. They're indicators of good water quality. They need good water. They need clean water. Don't litter. You hear that? I, why are you pointing at me? I don't litter. Don't litter because then Georgie, Georgie will suck it up. It's not don't good for Georgie. Her. I never litter, all right, dog? Georgie gives off the vibes of like an old British mob boss. Like, yeah, f***ing hell. I don't like to move too much. That sort of f***ing thing, you're right? Oh, give me some creaky, so I'm hungry, yeah? <laughs> oh, look at the tongue! <laughs> This is toast. And he looks like a snake, but with arms. Yeah. Yeah. He's what is a that? Lizard. What is it? What is this thing? <laughs> he's a blue tongued skink. You want to hold him? Yeah, I want to hold him. He's Gross. got sharp little claws. What's Yay, up, little toaster man? Toaster strudel. 
He's just like, I am not chill here. I this is called a blue tongue skink because of... He's got a blue tongue. And he's a skink. This is an Australian lizard. Um, <laughs> yeah, good day, mate. Oh, God, here we go. How you doing? It's a walkabout. He's going on a walkabout. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> you want to put him on the table and feed him some snacks? Yeah, I want to feed him. You, you, you want to get fed, mate? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> now. <laughs> It looks like God punished him for some what? reason. Like, he was supposed to be a snake, and God was like, nah, let's give him some little fucking leggies. You want a little snacky, mate? Toast? A little snacko. You gotta say the magic word. Well, what's the magic word? Yes. I'm on smoko. Leave me alone. That's what he's saying. He's like, nah. Toast's favorite food is snails, um, but... People that don't like snails are humans that have gardens, and humans that have gardens oh, he's eating. to keep he's eating. their snails out of oh, their it's gardens. So f***ing cute. It's really cute. Do I just let it go? Yeah, you can let it go. That yeah. was dope. Look at we him. just vibe pretty hard. He's cute. So, when humans don't want snails in their gardens, they use pesticides, and then Toast will go to eat the snail, and he'll consume that pesticide as well, and then Toast will get really sick. It's something people don't think about very often. Yeah, don't feed pesticides to your skink. Right amount of 10. He's like a five. That he's is very so cute. Mean. This I is hope he bites this, would it see hurt if he bit me? Yes. I can tell. Like he's like being ooh. Ha! <laughs> Look at that tongue. Good day, Mike. Beautiful. I do believe that Toast needs a diet. I think Toast is getting a little chunky on the on the mid on the mid area. He was really cute, and I liked the way his tongue was like a like a carpet. Is that a cockroach? I don't know. Is it? That's disgusting. Oh my god, that's so scary. This is Barbara! Oh, that's gross. Barbara! Um, you see, those are her little eyeballs. Wow. Oh. She's looking at you. Oh god. Is this a cockroach? This yes, is a cockroach, it is. Right? Oh, this geez. is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. It hisses? Um, Will the, it hiss at me? The males hiss more than the females, and they only hiss when they're upset. Uh, and so, and she's way too chill, so. Do I, oh god, this is fucking gross. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, it's very cute, and I'm very excited. Okay. You want to put your hand on the table? I don't trust you. Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flick her off. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. She does not want to be a part of this process, and Barbara, neither do I. Let's be. Yay! She, it's warm. It's fucking warm, chat. Oh, I'm sorry. She's alive, asshole. She's literally. Oh my god, it's a bug, and it's warm. Oh my god, she's the size of a fucking tech deck. Barbara, you know why Hassan thinks Barbara's gross? You know why you guys think cockroaches are gross? It's because you associate them with dirty places, right? You, you think of a cockroach, you're like, yuck, like gross house, gross dishes, right? Cockroaches, just like those isopods, are detritivores. So their job is to break down decaying organic matter. Hassan, uh, Hassan, do you hate firefighters? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love fires. More of them should happen. <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I, I like firefighters. We like firefighters. Getting mad at cockroaches for being in dirty places is like getting mad at a firefighter for being at the seat of a fire. They're there to help us. Um, the point with Barbara is just that bugs as a whole are, are super, super misunderstood. And people think that cockroaches are dirty. They're actually the opposite. Uh, they're there to clean things up. You understand? I, I will say this. This is a testament to your stream. If I saw a cockroach in my house, I would think twice about killing it now. Respect. I, I might still do it, but <laughs> I would definitely be like, oh, should I? But like Barbara, what would Barbara think? Say I hi. never thought I would actually say hi with your little leg. Grab a cockroach. Hi. I was expecting Barbara the cockroach to be, uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> you sneezed on me. I was expecting uh, Barbara the cockroach to be kind of cold, yes, and and like prickly, and then. You don't expect the bug to be warm, you know? And it was warm, but it was like weird that it was the bug was warm. I don't know how else to describe it. Where, where is it? Oh God, that's a scorpion. Oh my God. Okay, that's a bit much. That's, that's like, oh, that's fast too. It's moving around fast. Okay. Tortellini. Tortellini. That's tortellini. Oh, fuck. Ah. does it sting? Is it gonna sting me? If it stings me, I, I, fuck, ah. I die, right? No, you don't work? die. How uh, does this it, work? It, it, venom's like a bee sting. Um, this okay. is a baby emperor scorpion. You know the big scorpions that are like this big, size of your hand? Uh-huh. This is, that's him. Um, but he's a baby right now, so he will be that big. Watch out. I'm gonna you show you guys something cool. Alexa, turn all the lights off. 
Um, we're turning all the lights off because I want to show you guys something really, really cool about scorpions that actually a lot of animal species are able to do, uh, and it's super oh, fascinating. What the f***? Ah! Yo! Oh, look at that. It's like... <laughs> wow, he's glow in the dark. Does he do rad damage? I don't know what that means. Radiation damage? Oh. No. You know how scorpions reproduce? By f***ing? Ah! Yeah. Do you know how? They use their... Tails? They're yes. tails. Guys, I got this from here on out, okay? Let me explain to you how scorpions ah! This is a scorpion, right? Um, if this is the underside of the scorpion, Hassan, mm -hmm. where do you think the genitalia is and what do you think it looks like? I think the genitalia of the scorpion is here. Interesting. Uh, wrong. That is where they poop from, though. Aww. Poop goes all the way through the tail. Fun fact about scorpions, but that was not my question. Um, I'll give you a hint. It's on the body. <laughs> okay, then here. No, it's here? Yeah. What the f***? Like dead in the minute? Dead in the center? Yeah, pretty much dead in the center. center. Yeah, in so, between their uh, so first and second the pair of legs. They have a hole. It's like a hole or, or an orifice underneath. The males will drop a spermatophore. Uh huh. So we'll drop a little sperm packet on the ground, like this. Amazon delivery. Yeah, Just they'll drop a little sperm packet, and then they'll grab claws, and he'll maneuver the female onto it so that the hole goes here. Like he picks up the female and slams it onto his sperm mussy. Um, no, he kind of, he kind of just like. Maneuvers her on top of the spermatophore. Back and forth like that. And then like she that. takes the sper spermatophore, and that's that's how they breed. That's weird. Anyway, Tortellini is an important bug uh, for pest control because this is a carnivorous bug. He eats mealworms, crickets. Um, but without bugs like this, we would have way too many bugs. We'd be overtaken. So carnivorous bugs are really important too. Oh, yeah. That's a bug technically, right? Bug is a colloquial term for would everything. You, I, I feel like scorpions, wouldn't they be reptiles instead? Wow, that's crazy stupid. Did your stance change on scorpions at all after hanging out with them? Yes. Um, still terrified though, especially because like they, I mean, I couldn't touch him because he could kill me or not kill me, but like venom me, poison me with venom. Did I say that right? Now that's a fucking beard right there. Fucking beard. It's a fucking emu. This is Stompy, everybody. Stompy is a common emu. It's an Australian ratite. I, I'm a little worried. Hello. Oh. Did you give him your ring? I didn't. I was trying to go for the pet. Oh, he, oh, the shiny stuff he likes. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. You can have, you can have the shiny stuff. Oh, it's kind of gross. What? I'm gonna show you how to give Stompy a hug, okay? And then okay. you have to give Stompy a hug. Stompy, the little head scratches. You go, you beep, 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 beep. Oh, it's nice. It's literally like a like a dinosaur. He's melting. He's melting. Does that mean she likes it, or does that mean she doesn't like it? He likes it. Okay, and then to give Stompy a hug, Stompy. It's time. Come here. Hi, so nice little birdie. Nice little kitty. Oh my god. Nice little kitty birdie. Let's hug. I want to give him a hug, her a hug. Oh, there's a cow. Oh my god, she's coming right at us. What is happening? Child, look out. This is the greatest. This is the greatest experience of all time. Hello. <laughs> you okay. are so cute. Change oh. of pace. This is Winnie the Moo. Oh, she's so nice. Is she cute? I'll give you a brush, you can brush her. She likes oh that. Oh my god. Hello. I've never I don't think I've ever pet a cow before. You can hug her. Can I hug her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to be annoying. I'm sorry if I'm being annoying. You're so <laughs> chill. Like, um yeah, Winnie's awesome. She is a ruminant. Um so she produces methane like all other cows. Uh so the beef industry is really harsh on our climate. We recommend people eat less beef because the demand for cattle is so high that it's ruining rainforest habitat because we clear cut to do cattle ranching. Can I ride her? No. And uh, oh. they produce a ton of methane. So She looks so rideable. They're hurting our climate. So just eat less beef. Yeah. That's seconded. Is there like a spot that she likes to be pet at? Yeah. We can get her brush and you can show you, I can show you. Wait. You got to give the bird a hug. Oh yeah. Hello. Wait. How do I do this? Like from down here like this? Yeah. You're a little tall. You got to squat mm. a lot. Hi. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Hello. <laughs> that's a good hug, Hassan. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you for the hug. <laughs> Stop. I don't know hug. if you like that. Dude, it's crazy. Her freaking look at her feet. Like crazy, I, huh? Let me tell you about birds are dinosaurs, right? Uh, yeah. Theropods, three toed, two legged raptors. Um, and so Stompy's skeleton is so similar to, to theropods. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Also, check this out, very dinosaur -y. Stompy's got wings. You see that? Kind of sick. Stompy's little wings have little claws. You're so funny. You see that? You're kind of small. Because he's a dinosaur. When I first met Stompy was years ago, a couple years back. Um, she was much smaller, I think, back then. And she definitely was like not as people trained if that is the right way to approach it she definitely is like way more uh chill around humans now since then so i was expecting her to be like kind of scary so cows are way smarter than people think uh winnie is now halter trained and has a pretty good recall i'll show you winnie's recall you're gonna do recall to the cow yeah no way oh no she's coming <laughs> oh my god! She's running! That's so <laughs> sick! Winnie the Moo! Okay, these are way sicker, I think. For my... Okay, that's 10, 10, <laughs> uh, bird, 8. Winnie! Do you understand now what my rating system looks like? Yeah, I guess. I need to be able to like hug them and pet them and Guys, like wrestle with them a little bit, you know what wrestle. I mean? Oh, okay, donkey! Okay. That's Serrano and that's Jalapeno. You'll have them come up to you because they're a little shy. Donkey! Oh, it's nice. These two were rescued off of a uh, feedlot in Central Texas. So they either would have gone to be pet kibble or glue or uh, for medicine. Good. So they boil donkey hides for Yijiao in traditional Chinese medicine. Oh. Um, it's like five million donkey skins annually for that trade. Oh, wait, can I pet him? You can try to pet like his forehead. Oh, that's a no. <laughs> no. It's okay. Come here. That's jalapeno. Oh, scary. No. The donkeys were cool. I wish I got to pet them. You know, they were they were a little afraid of humans, unfortunately. But uh, I mean, cool experience overall. I love horses and 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 donkeys and ponies and all of that. It's not exactly like a new experience, I'd say, but still, it's always great. It's good. It's like a dog. Donkeys and horses are like dogs. They're big dogs, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, my God. This is crazy. <laughs> she loves the brush. Yeah, she likes it. Hello. Yeah, you do. I love this cow. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna get one for for my house. Uh, Winnie likes playing with giant yoga balls too. No, um, what? Yeah. Is there a giant yoga ball here? If I see this cow play with a giant yoga ball, I might quit eating beef. I'm not even kidding. Dude, it's down there. You gotta go, go, go get Winnie, he brought you your ball. Winnie! Get it. Your ball. Oh! oh yeah! <laughs> No way! Come on! <laughs> Yay! Give another push! Alright, never mind. I'm glad you I went tried. This. God, Winnie's what a treat. I just she's big. I, I like, you know, I'm I'm a bit of a size queen. You know. I I myself am big, so I, I love like other big animals. I feel like they're misunderstood. Hello everybody, welcome back. We're in the parrot aviary. This is Siren. Siren, can you say hello to them? No fucking way. That thing is talking. <laughs> That's incredible. That's Mia. Oops. Mia. So nice. Oh. That's Wait, is nice. she going to take the thing off? Yeah. No. They're really handy That's with their beaks. That's crazy. <laughs> That's cra I love pistachios too. <laughs> So these birds are endangered, uh, and a big reason is the pet trade. A lot of people think they want parrots as pets because they like dance and they're cute, uh, but they chew through wood and they can scream at like 130 decibels, um, and they can bite through your skin and break your fingers. Like this one. They live 60 to 70 years, uh, so most people just can't have them as pets. Can you sing happy birthday? Birthday. Hello. Ha okay. Oh. Can you sing happy birthday? Yeah. Did, what? what do you think? 
That's so crazy. What Birthday! the? Birthday. <laughs> hey, boy. Don't cry. Don't cry. Oh, she like she puts her claw out like that. Does that mean like she's like don't come near? She actually near? wants to step up on your hand. Oh. Re you try if you want. If you put your hand by her foot and she puts her foot out like that, just don't take it away. There you go. Good job. This is the craziest experience of my life. <laughs> that is so nutty. That's really nice. Hello. Can I feed her? Yeah. Here you go, bud. Oh my god. Friends. We're chilling. We're chilling. We are fucking chilling so hard. It's crazy. Here you go. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm, I'm staying. Okay, I guess. Okay, no, you're coming with me. All right. You guys are hanging out. She likes you. I guess we're going home. So Mia was, she's been in a couple homes. Um, but again, with parrots, they're so cool, but they live so long and they're so destructive and so loud. Um, it's just a lifetime commitment and the transitions for them when they switch homes are so hard. Why, what are they? Because they're really smart and they get really attached to the people that take care of them. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, it's like kids moving home to home. It's just too much for them. Siren, do you think Hassan's a good streamer? Uh, uh, uh. It's not good. I mean, I've been to zoos and stuff before, but I don't recall like having such prolonged contact with birds before. So that was that was definitely cool. Uh, me and uh, Mia, we were vibing. It was great. She's dope. We're going to see the monkeys. Uh, they are marmosets. The monkeys we got from a neglect case in Austin. So someone bought them as pets online and did not know how to take care of them. Um, neglected them. So they came to us with a ton of issues. We're rehabilitated here for six months. Uh, like you had to bring parrot. in a professional trainer for that? No. You um, did it yourself? Yeah, and with a vet. Oh, okay. With the help of a vet. Hi, boys. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's not real. Hold on, it's swapping a piece. That's not f***ing <laughs> real. Oh my f***ing God, stop. Oh, All this right. is too much. This is too much. This is, oh my God. These are? Our marmosets. This is Appa. He's a common marmoset. Yep, and yep. that's Momo. He's a black tufted marmoset. I'm trying so hard not to like excite them, but I'm very excited. Oh my Who god, would that? they do that to me? Do you wanna go? He's a big person. I'm Good gonna job, die. I'm gonna nice. die. This is the this is it. It's over. If he bites you, I apologize in advance. It's okay, it's fine. So these are Brazilian monkeys. Again, they were someone's pet. They lived in like a little cage inside someone's house. Um so Appa used to have very little use of his back legs because he had metabolic bone disease and was so malnourished. Um now he's got really good use of his back legs. He's way healthier. Um this is his first outdoor enclosure he's ever had, and he loves it. He wants to see chat. <laughs> What's up, big dog? What's up? Oh my god. Oh my god. He does look. <laughs> He's like, where's the camera? You baited me. You lured me. <laughs> it's always cool when you when when an animal's like, yo, what's up? I'm gonna climb on you. We're gonna hang out. When Maya said that uh, the marmoset is actually like, bite your cheek, I was like bracing for at least like not doing something that'll hurt the monkey. You know what I mean? At, like in a in a panic moment. <laughs> Up next, we have the fox enclosure. We have two American red foxes. Uh, one was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California, and one was orphaned in the wild and Wait, raised they... by humans. What the f ah! That one's face is weird. Don't say that. The foxes, we teach people about the pet trade. Again, you don't want foxes as pets either. A lot of people think they do. I don't understand why you would get a fox as a pet. I don't either. Um, and Aren't then, they like impossible to domesticate? And they shit everywhere? They shit everywhere. They yeah. pee everywhere. So what does that smell? Fox. Or is you it smell fox? that like musk? It smells a little skunky. Yeah. It smells almost like a skunk. It does, doesn't it? Like literally. So this is Finn. This is the one that was confiscated from the illegal pet trade good, in California. Um, He's got a weird face. He is an American red fox. He just looks like that because he was bred for color for the pet trade, like the snake. Come here, buddy. Yum. He's not gonna let me pet him, right? No, he doesn't really like being pet either. More treat. Brave. So the interesting thing about breeding foxes for color and breeding them for pets is people want them to have shorter snouts. They want them to be spotted. They want floppy ears. They want them to not be afraid of humans. They want Can them to come to their name. Can you even pet them though? Uh, these ones don't like being pets. Some foxes that are raised to be pets are okay with petting. But they still shit and piss everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. 
Wait, foxes? Are foxes closer to felines than canines? They're canines. Or Oh, they're canines. Yeah. That one is beautiful. But also, was that also bred for... No, he was born in the wild, but he was orphaned, so he was raised by people. All the animals get enrichment here, so like toys and stuff, so they can engage in natural behaviors. Keeps them happier under human care. So this one today is a peanut butter ball. Just a ball with peanut butter. <laughs> I don't think he wants inside. to play with it while we're around him. The you know, foxes haven't been super motivated lately because they're a little chunky because it's winter. Do they get the zoomies? See him peeing on that ball? That's oh. uh, they scent post on everything. So anything new in your house, if they're in your house, they pee on it. So everything would smell like this. And then they'll. Which is it. awful, and I don't understand yeah, why terrible. people would ever want to. And this isn't a fully and, like open air. Yeah, this is outside, outside. and it smells yeah. bad. Inside, it would be like unimaginable. So what I was saying is, when people get when they want foxes as pets, they they want shorter snouts, floppy ears, spotted, curly tails, um, not afraid of humans, come to their name, play fetch. They they want a dog. Damn it. Just got a dog. Get a Shiba Inu. That, yeah, that's like a fox. Literally the same. Same thing. I don't know where I've seen it, but. Like it's like an ancient Chinese myth or something where like they'll have animals but with like human faces. Have you ever seen that? I don't know. Yes. Like I feel like that's what the, that's what it looked like from afar at first and it freaked me out. Like I felt like this fox body with like kind of a stumpy snout that almost looked human-like was looking at me like it understood what was going on and it freaked me out. But he was chill. You're gonna meet the chinchillas. You want me to squat yeah, now? Yeah, or you gotta sit or something. Cause you're gonna give the chinchillas treats, but they have to come over here. <laughs> Yay, mm -hmm. chinchilla. Mm. So the chinchillas, we talk about the fur trade. Um, it takes 120 to 200 of them to make a coat. Uh, so they almost got wiped out in the wild. That's why they're so expensive. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, they almost got wiped out in the wild because of the fur trade. Their they coats are sick, by the way. Like, they're super soft. They're, they're very, Crazy very soft. soft. Go. This is Moomin. Can I pick him up? And the, no, he doesn't like it. Mm, and the other one was Snork. Sorry. He's like, why are you touching me? Sorry. He's like, no, where's the food? That's what he's saying. Here you go. Mm, oh my god, you're such a cutie though. And, and you're letting Good me job. pet you. Oh, that's nice. She's letting me pet her. I made a sign for her. What do you mean? Hold. What is that? Hold. <gasps> what does that sign say? Good job. No, Hassan is stinky. Good job. Hassan's stinky. Why would you make Yay. the chinchilla lie? Hold. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Do you guys see that? She's so good. You're so good at that. Do you want to come over? Can you come up? Oh you my God. God. <gasps> Do you see this? Do you see what's going on? That was crazy. I can't tell which one is which. <laughs> but, but, she likes you. But, uh, yeah, what do you mean? Look, we're vibing. So guys, obviously with chinchillas and with more we meet today, uh, just don't wear furs. Furs are cringe. Yeah, like, I agree. Gross. Don't wear furs. This is my truck. You want to try to fit in there? I, what, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Incredible experience, 1010, would recommend. Uh, follow Alveus at twitch.tv slash Alveus, right? And uh, follow Maya as well. She's wonderful. And everyone here is wonderful. All right, that's everything. Thank All you for right. coming. Thank you for having me.